Okay, this video is about the discriminant. The discriminant is part of the quadratic um, formula. So here we've got the quadratic formula. x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The discriminant is part of that. So the discriminant is the bit inside the square root sign. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. We use a discriminant to tell us how many solutions or how many real roots a quadratic equation has. So if b squared minus 4ac is a positive number, if it's bigger than 0, then we're going to plus or minus that positive number and we're going to get two solutions. So I'll write two solutions or two real roots here. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, we'll be plusing or minusing 0. So that would be the same answer. So they'll give us one solution or one real root. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, if the bit inside the square root sign is negative, uh, square rooting a negative will not give us any real roots. So we're going to say it's got no solutions or no real roots. So no answers. If you try to put in the calculator, it comes with an error. So it's going to have no answers. So we use b squared minus 4ac to tell us how many solutions or how many roots a quadratic equation has. So let's look at these quadratic equations down here and see how many roots they have. So for the first one here, we can see a is 3, b is 1, got 1x one here, and c is 10. So we're going to substitute into b squared minus 4ac. So 1 squared, b squared, minus 4ac. 1 squared is 1. I'm going to leave the minus sign here. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 10 is 120. 1 take away 120 is minus 119. So it's negative, and it's less than 0. Negative, less than 0. So it's got no solutions or no real roots. Here we've got a is 1, b is 2, and c is minus 9, a negative 9. So we've got b squared, 2 squared, minus 4 times a times c. So 2 squared is 4. We've got a negative 4 times 1, which is a negative 4, and then negative 4 times negative 9 is a positive 36. 4 and 36 make 40. So it's positive, it's bigger than 0. So this will have two solutions or two real roots. Here we've got a is 1, 1x squared, b is 6, c is 9. So b squared, 6 squared, minus 4ac. 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times 1 is 4, times 9 is 36, which is 0. If it equals 0, that means it's got one solution or one real root. Okay, so that's how we use a discriminant to tell us how many solutions or how many roots a quadratic, quadratic equation has. Okay, so here's two questions. So what we've got to do is determine how many real roots they have. So we're going to use the discriminant and we're going to work out how many real roots they have. So maybe pause the video and give these a go. Okay, so the first one here, we've got A is 1, B is a negative 8, and C is 16. So we've got the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, remember, this bit here. So let's substitute in. So b squared minus 4ac. So minus 8 squared, negative 8 times negative 8, it's a positive 64. And then 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 16 is 64. So 64, take away 64 is 0. So b squared minus 4ac equals 0. So it's got one real root or one solution. Okay, this isn't in the right form. So we've got to make the second one into the right form before we can do it. 
So the right form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So we have to take 4x from both sides, which gives us 3x squared minus 4x plus 10 equals zero. So a is 3, b is negative 4, and c is 10. So we've got b squared minus 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times 10. Um, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Minus 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 10 is 120. 16 take away 120 be negative 104, minus 104. So it's negative, so it's got no real roots.